Okay. How can we start, Jeff? How can we start? Ooh, bloody hell. Okay, so here we are, back in Jeff's shed. Nice it's hot cup of tea, thank God. It's bloody cold, it's bloody cold in here. You've not got the heat on yet, you can't afford I've, it yet. No, I'm going to go and get a bottle of gas. Okay, yeah. great. Before um, it goes too expensive, high, yeah. too expensive. Right, and what we've got here on the bench, <laughs> this one here, is for me. You they, found it. You found this. Um, this stuff are hard. You're hoarding. Yeah, I'm hard. I hoard. Uh, uh, I've got this disease. This yes, you hard disease, bits and bobs. Yeah. And good thing too, yeah. because it, that is a wheel spindle from a Kawasaki Unitrack. All these bits are out of a Unitrack. And believe it or not, it fits. That's our a ZXR ooh, 1100, uh, or 1200 swing arm, which is what I need. That, I'm sure that sleeve. That's yes. a hardened sleeve. Yeah. And what it was. I had the Unitrack, which yeah. we've got, we've street fighted, yes. but the original swinging arm, I think, had suffered some damage. Yeah, so that got taken out. Uh, trying to remove needle rollers from it, uh, what I did was, I actually, because one of the bolts, it had literally damaged the back of the swinging arm, and yeah. they're not worth a toss. No, no, no. So I cut the swing, I cut the aluminium front off it, okay, and I actually, yeah. I actually sawn down the side and mm. got... Got it. Got that out. Got there. all the need, everything out. The, yeah. All the needle rollers. And, the mince, and, you're telling me the and it's in brilliant condition. Right. So it's a picture just bought some, isn't it? But never mind. Do you know? It, I, I was looking in there. For and you stuff, found it after a box. I, I was rooting. I'm going. Okay. No, I'm done. No, I'm I done. I thought it had a 17 through there, and when I went like that, I thought it's got a bloody crown. There you go. You look, and I thought Lee's not going to be happy when I no, tell him no, this. No, I don't mind. That mind. <laughs> yeah, but at least that sleeve. Yeah. That's the. That's the important thing. I mean, you could. Th th one of them could be. Yeah, I've had a look on eBay, you can't, there's, there's none for sale, you, unless you, you buy a whole swing arm. Probably. Well, then you, you could be looking at 100 quid for yeah, a swinging yeah, yeah. arm, so and you, know, you don't that. want to be But that has worked out. So we'll have that. Well, yeah. You've also got the spindle sorted out as well, which you... Um, that's one I made that's actually got stainless. It's actually threaded internally. Yeah, and you've and got some um, machined... What we'll have to do, that one's locktighted in yeah. with some heavy... What we'll have to do is remember which side, and you just have to put a mile, yeah, we'll like a mile lock tight on yeah, it. Yeah, we can stamp it, can't we? Yeah, can stamp it. So we could probably it. put a couple of little. Yeah, do not undo this uh, bit. Uh, 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 well, maybe if it comes to undo it. Yeah, we'll soon work out. You'll know which one will break. Oh yeah, yeah. won't be that one. Yeah. It'll okay, that's great. First. And then also on here we have got if I zoom over here. Then. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. These rather nice threaded studs here. Oh. Using, I've put some in the shed. Yeah, there's some more yeah. in the shed, but using um, some of the 316 marine grade center steel that I gave you mm -hmm. the other day, and you've been to Lister, used his capstan lathe. Yeah, I've got to watch you doing it because I happen to be by <laughs> there, and uh, I couldn't work out how it worked, but when he explained it to me, I thought, wow, that's yeah. amazing. So, yeah, so that's a really great way of uh, very so simple. So, that's way for of... the rear, that's the half inch one that we've taken because it's bigger yes it, it, that's it, the one we missing that, that's out the that one is for the front yes and hopefully so these I, by the way are the mount these are, and these by the way are the motor mounts for so Z750. you oh, i won't put quite put it on yet so that's a nylock whether you want to just put that in and put two nylocks yeah, on it which yeah, is no, fine for me. it's going to be okay Send isn't the steel, it? Though, i'm fine with that yeah, yeah. They're, they're stainless yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that, that's my selection of 12 mil stainless. Yeah, yeah I think I've got some more at home, so don't worry about that. Lots so on. we've now got a stainless all, uh, all the bolts are stainless. Yes. That one's 10 mil. What we've got to do is, is just put a thread on that. I can do that by hand. Yes. Yeah. And then we'll just weld that stainless nut on there. Yeah. And then we've got an airtight nut to go on it. Right at the end. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. an airtight stainless lock nut. Yeah, aerospace style. Oh, you could just put a nylon one on, oh, it's no, entirely I mean, up to you. We've got that. Yeah. We'll use that so one. all the bolts now are stainless that we've got right. for the and on bars, engine. And the studs are stainless, that's great. Engine sh should be able to go in. Um, the frame looks to be pretty much finished now, as far as we can go, until we know what else is going to happen with the frame in terms of um, mounting mm -hmm. for the tank and so on and the side panels. We've got to sort of forks and things out, yeah. Oh, I, don't I know, know. I know, I know. We're talking about forks. I see we've got some forks uh, these, over there. These are the old compact ones. All oh, right. And they were shortened. And what we're going to do now is machine. Uh, Don't tell me you're going to make them longer again. Yeah. <laughs> um, because these have had all the, the they've all been threaded and done, mm -hmm. and the stanchions are brilliant. Yeah. But these stanchions that these were on were pitted to hell. Yeah, yeah. So you cut. And let me. So be, to be clear so now, sawn, they've been shortened. You've yeah. sawn the end yeah. off a damaged yeah. set of um, foot legs, and you're going to now combine that end with that. Yeah. To make them longer again. Which, and I, I, and I'm going to do that. You're going to weld them together. And well, it's where the where that was machined. I'm yep. going to machine it back off to there. The mm -hmm. only snag is now. I need. I might have to get someone. It, it, I've got to get the lathe up and working. Yes, the big lathe. Yeah. So it'll go right in the. 
headstock, uh, even the other small uh, one is only inch and a half bore. Mm -hmm. Or is it? Well, anyway, anyway I, I, I've, I've got to get someone to do them. Yeah. And then, where they're um, original, they're the original like bits of that were in there. Yeah. I'm going to machine that down, mm -hmm. and then when that's hot, if that will actually press in, just clean the chrome off and just get it on TIG. Right. TIG well, weld them round because it will. It'll be yeah. about about there, so yeah. it'll actually put about another two, two and a half inches right. back that's on. What it is. Yeah. So what are they for then? Who are they for? Is that for your unit track project? It, these have been sat up there for ages, oh, right. and I wanted to makes use of them. Yeah. Yeah, they were too short. They were very short. Yeah. 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 Uh, Okay, and so, what, what have we got here? They look like it's just a thing. They're not. No, we're not they using might them for anything. For something one day. We're getting all the these look like up. just a bits for a swing arm. Yeah, well, I was going to make them for. I thought I'll do them at twenty. I always make two, <laughs> <laughs> make two sets. So what are these for? You're then? bound to. So what are they for? Bug or something. Well, I've got them Kawasaki engine cases yes. and the jig. Once it's empty, uh, free. Uh, I might make a hardtail frame, Ooh. and that spare pair of ZX9 wheels I've got. You can go on there. Uh, and some forks yeah. and some slab yokes. Yeah. Put a Kawasaki motor in it with a load of bits and see yeah. if I can sell it as a yeah. chopper, a chop project. Okay. If anyone's interested, okay. I've got the bits anyway. Yeah. So yeah, we've got the time to do it, haven't you? Uh, well, at the minute, I've got okay. to try and think of. Uh, okay. So if anybody wants a hardtail? Uh, some having some chopper with a Kawasaki engine in it. Come and see Jeff. Some. Uh, ways of um, getting some money in getting some money in to okay. pay for other things okay, okay so here yeah. we are back in jeff's workshop for another vlog and it's a bit cold today but not too bad it's, it's gonna be not hot. too bad but tomorrow's gonna be worse i reckon but yeah. anyway on your miller i see you got a little block of aluminium with a hole in it mm -hmm. so what are they all about them that them are for let's uh, put it in the camera well that, that one's like uh, we've bought bought that it's just resonated a little bit there but with our bigger cutter yep to uh we're sinking the spindle heads into them and the nut heads so it hides. Okay, okay let me just look up there and I'll just. So you've. Yeah. We've okay, still... you put a recess in there. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Hello. Oh. Just a second. I think tea might be on the way soon. Oh, it's tea. Okay, we'll start again yeah. there. Slight uh, break there for a cup of tea, or at least a request for a cup of tea. So those adjuster blocks are going to be for. If you put that over there so we can see it, Jeff. What, that? Yes. They're going to be wow. for that, which are in turn going to be for. Th these. Yeah, go on. Uh, these will go in here. They, yep. They're about half a mil. They were too big at the minute. But what I wanted to do is just, just I can get them in the miller and polish them. So they did. A very nice. They, they, you know, if it's about, it doesn't. It, it's not critical as as long as it's not mm -hmm. bloody doing that in the. Yeah, yeah. And just to be know. clear, that's going to be the end yeah. of a swing arm, or yeah. at least a well, what frame, was, I should say. Because I've got all that stuff. I'm yeah. gonna when when I've got the jig free, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a frame. Yes, you said. Set a set of cases in yes. it, put a front end on it, and get it to a rolling chassis. This is going to be a hardtail from a chopper frame. It is, but it's going to have a very unique difference that there's very few people yeah, that's that actually done, and Wait, it will have a reversed head on it. Oh, right, that sounds a bit uh, ambitious, but okay. A reversed head like we've got on the comp bike. On the comp bike. Let's just see that. And just over it's, there. it's da -da -da -da. something that I've not, I've, well, just it's like been done that. obviously for the drag. Just like that, in it, fact. Yeah. It will be a road bike, okay, and it will be up for sale. Okay, well, let's hopefully uh, probably you find somebody to buy it. I suspect nobody will buy it. It'll, it'll just get stashed in my yeah, storage the, garage and, yeah, and left there to get rot. So anyway, I've actually just brought you back <laughs> two of those that I had for another project. They're twenty mil, which I'm not going to use. So let's see what they look like, so people can see what it'll let's look like let's when I finish. We'll put them on there. Okay, let's put this camera we'll have to grab one. back down so we can nice and steady again. There we go. That. Okay, so there it is. They've been tapered down. Yeah, but those obviously for 20 mil, I think, were they? Yeah, these haven't been bored in yet for a no. spindle because sometimes you never know what you're yeah. going to do. Uh, but nevertheless, if you want to sort of yeah. use them for 25, you can't because it's not really made for that, is it? If, if you try to put a 25 in there now, you'd be it's losing. A bit much, it's a bit much, yeah. they, they could be taken out, and, but then you'd have to make some more of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so that's it's job. not worth it, just leave them at 20. There. Yeah. I can also see something else you've been busy with, so let's just look at that now. Okay, so here we are at Jeff's workbench, lots of interesting things going on. Looks like the start of what could be a fork brace here, I'm not sure. Jeff, is this supposed to be a fork brace? Yeah. And what's that for then? Well, I've got some fork to put on this um, 
this chassis. Yes, that you've not got yet. That I've not got yet. <clears throat> and and uh, I need a fork brace, so. Yeah. So we got some. I picked some forks up. Okay, so over there, look. That are in. They look like Kawasaki ZZR. They Z are Kawasaki ZZR. Oh, ZZR. 600. Yes. 30 quid, That's free postage. Oh, the stanchions look alright, actually. They're actually in mint condition, but what was wrong with them? There was a, a seized bolt. Oh, at the bottom. And one of the brake line lugs had snapped off. Alright. Oh, which well, I. Not the end of the world, is it? No, I've cleaned them all up. Right. And. Yeah, well, obviously they want stripping and checking and yes. new oil and maybe yes, yes, yeah. new seals yeah. but the stanchions are in okay okay so what we got here these are big heavy bars what's what's this all about uh, well they for to make the steel l sections for the other things like you've done there if you get them oh right okay you yes see, you can see how and they're actually they're not they're, they've actually been milled out oh, of course, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. to weld to yeah. the tubes yeah. Yes, these are not just a, a bit of angled iron. This is machined from a solid it's piece of, and, yeah. of steel. That's why they're very accurately made, and that's what they're for, I guess. Um, yeah, I've got to cut them in half yet. They're down. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jeff. Here we are in your workshop once again. The heat is on, thank God. So it's not too cold today. It's not bad. And I see you're making what looks like a pair of yokes. A while back, I hacked a couple of small pieces of aluminium to make a set of yokes for my Honda cap racer should it ever materialise okay. and while I've got a spare moment I thought oh you'll finish them off I, I, I just thought I'd whip them into shape so this, this is for a Honda cap racer that you don't have that I've got some bits for or some bits for it's one of the many projects that I've got involved that may in one day come to fruition. Yeah. Now, is this going to be similar to the Cafe Racer, Honda CB, whatever it was, 72, you built back in the day? Yes. Which I've got an old photograph of from many years ago. Have you? Yes, it's sat, it's, it's sat on the back of a van or something. Or it's sitting on the back of a lorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'll now show everybody, because I've got it on my computer, and here it is. Seven, I was 17 when I built it. Was 17, eh? 17. Many years ago. Or maybe, yeah, 17, yeah. yeah. And why was it on the back of the van? I'd sold it. Oh, right, it was going. I can't remember why I'd sold it now. The money, I expect. I probably owe money to sell it. Yeah, owe money for somebody I, somewhere. I borrowed a lot of money to build it, and so the only way to pay it back was to sell it, yeah. Right. Oh, well. Story of my life. Yeah, so it, nothing changes. <laughs> Okay, so there you are. We'll, look at, we'll come back and look at that in a minute. But over elsewhere in the workshop, I see you've got another set of yokes that are in, in sort of um, production. Ah, yeah. So what are they for? Well, uh, I, I was going to use a set on them 41mm forks. So I've All got right. All right. for putting a rolling chassis together. Yeah. So it looks like a drag bike stroke lowrider. All right. Now, it may be a complete waste of time, but... It may well do so. If you can't sell it, it's a... Uh... But it may sell, and all the bits I've got, I can just put with it. Yeah. It, it, I, I may be able to turn it into... Money. A chunk of cash. Yes. So if anybody's watching this, and you want to, what is it, a half lowrider, half drag bike, Kawasaki-based... What's, Base what's the engine going to be in it? In, well... It's based on a GPZ11, uh, right. so... But it won't have an engine in it? It'll just be oh, a... no, it'll be, the, it'll, be, it'll be an engine with it. Okay. It'll be a barrel. Right, it'll be a barrel. <laughs> uh, there'll be all the bits, but... Not complete. It, it'll want only spending on it. Yeah. You know, like paint work. And will it have a log book? Unfortunately, no, I don't have a log book. Oh, well, there you go. Well, that's the problem. That means it, it probably won't be worth very much. Need, eh? It won't be worth that much, then. You need a log book, lad. Anyway, on that note, let's go and see what else is going on around the workshop. Okay, so I've got my cup of tea now, and next to it is the start of another set of yolks. You started there, look, just sort of line drill it out, and on the pillar drill behind me is oh, the other half of it. I was going to mill it away, but when you think time it takes hang to on, mill me, it away. Uh, let me refocus. Yeah, okay, so we turn, oops, hang on, we turn around now, and here we have. I assume the lower yoke that you made uh, yeah, I th yeah. And you made a start just line drilling it all the way around. You're, you're almost done now. Very tedious. Once that's I, done, I could have milled all that away, but yeah. you, you it takes it it takes it, and then the two pretty thick chunks there that yeah. could, you don't you know. That for, you, you can use, you use that small, bit small there. pieces of aluminium for making yeah. mounts. And, yeah, and they're, they're always quite handy to Okay, have. so as I say, these, this yoke and that one down there is for your rolling chassis come 
Yeah. Potential project to sell to somebody else. Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure about that, but anyway. Um, it might have the ZX wheels in it, yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, ZX wheels. Okay, yeah. so yeah. So that's what Jeff's doing right now. He's got the fire on, thank God. He's got some gas in, so we've got oh, the fire right, on. Lovely and, it's lovely and, and cozy. Here. Makes a bloody change in here. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, yeah, so down here, Jeff's telling me he's now got his new V belts to drive his new compressor, yeah. or his old new compressor. That it's is all rebuilt, been rebuilt. That it's rebuilt. And that'll soon be ready to go. Yeah. So that, that, that's about nine or ten CFM that. Yeah. Which will get it's it, it's good for it, spraying. It's good for spraying, yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll be spraying a bike soon. Well, it's when some weather for, for, like the frame and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be next year. Yeah. Now do it when the weather's, a bit, the weather's yeah. a bit warmer. I think it's too cold but now. All I've got to do that that pulley wants a small shim making for the shaft, and then it can be fitted on. Right. And then that can be adjusted. Just got to put the lead in there, and it's all done. The cable in, and, and, and it's got, hopefully got it's another all, compressor. Well. That should see me right for a long time. Yeah. Okay. And then I've just got a. It's even colour match to my mug of tea out. How's that? Close, colour, close, yeah. close. Don't, don't leave it stood on it. No. Don't spot it. No. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to damage your <laughs> new uh, paintwork. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jeff. I see you've got a very technical drawing here to tell you what what to make. And this diagram here, this little technical drawing, if you can see that, is to make these things, or rather to tell you where to drill the that, mountain that holes. That was working out the centres. Yeah, yeah. so y we saw these being milled out last time I was here a few days ago. And you've not just made one set, you've made two sets, yeah. as you always do. And you've also converted that big chunk of very heavy steel bar into, into these angled pieces, uh -huh. which go behind here, and they will be welded to the frame. They will go. These need to be wrong. They, they've got to go on there like, like, that. like that, and these need to be drilled. That's got to be drilled and threaded, and that needs to be finished, obviously. So when they're on the frame, the yep. tubes, a little bit of just milling work to yep. get them to yep. the same mm -hmm. size as that aluminium yep. thing. Okay. Uh, and then they can be welded on. Yeah. I had a test piece of that steel. It's it's yeah. so I've had to weld yeah. it. In fact, I think job. last time I was here, you were just machining out this recess yeah. so the bolt could sit inside there. Yeah. What's got to be done now is they've got to be clamped, they've got to be drilled. Yeah, you they've just got to be threaded, yeah, yeah, and then you can put Yeah, your... so I brought you back the two, or rather the pair that I had, don't know where they've gone, that are spare. Oh, so you I can might have put them in the shed. Okay, but the now. problem with them was, at least for you, well, for... They, they were for 20 mil, were they? 20 yeah. mil spindles, whereas these are a bit bigger, and these are made for. Well, they're 20. Yeah, what are these? Well, they were 25. They're 25, which is like an inch, isn't it? Nose, damn it. And there's quite a lot of sports bike, modern sports bike modern back sports ends that use 25 mil, yeah. yeah. So there they are. Unless you get so an R1 and it's 28. 28, bloody hell. Okay, well they're hollow, aren't they? That's why. But then if you get a wheel like that, you can always shim. You can always yeah. shim them down. Sort it down. You can even use the 20 mil ones and, and put some shims at the uh, yeah. cold spaces, like spaces yeah. in the bearings. Yeah, yeah, you do all sorts. Not anyway, it. so that's what you were doing last time I was here. Um, they're still here. That's great. These are my stainless yeah, steel uh, engine mats. That's great. Uh, and I think that's it because you've been busy doing other I've things. I've just been, yeah, thinking on uh, pondering, pondering. Once I've got so, well, it's too bloody cold in that other part. So oh yeah, yeah. So I'll, that's in a frame. I'll yeah. get it. I'll get on with it in uh, in time. In a couple. Of okay. Weeks. Well, I've still got my completely full cup of tea here, so it oh, needs to be emptied. Yeah, that that was in the steel that hole. Unfortunately, was it? yeah, oh, it right. had a hole through it. Oh, good. But unfortunately, where they go. I worked it out. Does it not interfere with it at all? You can, you oh, can right. once it's on. Yeah, because that, that bit's going to be welded well, on. So if you've got a tube on there, I could just. You, you won't see that. Or you can fill it, can't or, you? Or, or you I could, could just, put some welding in it. Yeah, you, you might see that when it's done, but it won't. Rather than waste the piece of steel, yeah. I just, yeah. you, you can. It's usually, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. So that was the. Uh, that was the work. But that was. that that I had a milling cutter. That is. Hard it's a surprise, you know. Well, yeah, it's hard, steel. Hard steel is very difficult to cut, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, unless you've got tungsten carbide cutters. It's hard work, isn't it? I yeah. found out with the high speed steel cutters that they don't, you know, some of them weren't liking it. Mm. You had to use plenty of fluid on it yeah. to cut it. Yeah, I hate doing that with metal and uh, particularly mm. stainless steel. Well, the thing is, if you try and weld that, hard. I've used a little bevel cutter in there because it's not got a razor sharp edge in there. Yes, yeah. Uh, but if you'd have got a piece of flat and that, and then tried to weld it down, it ends up distorting. Distorting, yeah. Yeah, with the heat. Okay, so with that, then we'll uh, end it here. I'll complete my cup of tea, and perhaps even go and have a biscuit. You never know. So thanks for watching, and cheers. <laughs>